guys and welcome to the video and I hope that you are feeling awesome. Alright guys, we are taking this very scenic route. We are actually walking on the um, Trent and Mersey Canal towards the old chancel. It used to be the original St. Augustine's Church until that got moved over to the other side of Station Road. If I show you a map right now, we are stood on the X and we're heading to where the, um, th the place where the circle is going around currently right now. off of the Trent and Mersey Canal at Bridge 67. We need to then go under Station Road. Records show that there was a church in Rusley in the 1189. Other evidence suggests the church may have been built earlier in around about the 1150 mark, possibly under the direction of the Depute uh, family who were uh, local uh, landowners at the time. This old church is a listed building which was listed on the 5th of July in 1972. It was the parish church in the 12th century. The church became known as the Old Chancel. The 12th century church had just a naive uh, chancel, a lady chapel and was added in the 13th century and then a tower in the 14th century. A north side was added too. By the 19th century, the church had become too small for the town's growing population and also it was in a poor state of repair. A new St. Augustine's Church, which was dedicated in January of 1923 and was built on the opposite side of Station Road. Shortly afterwards, the naive North Isles porch and vastery of the original church was demolished. In 1974, when this whole area was landscaped, they used all of the gravestones here to fill in all of this section here.
this building is absolutely amazing just look at this how much of it still remains where we're currently stood right now in this section here this would have been the area where people would have came to do their worshiping and also up there obviously you've got the uh, tower there this section here is the north um, side so we go walk into this area here um, this building here would have been the Lady Chapel there and between these two buildings there would have been like a recess where the priests used to sit in and then we come over to this building it used to be called the uh, chancel there and apparently in this churchyard there is a 14th century cross where people used to go to pay respects to loved ones that were buried on the grounds I like how we have it today where everyone has a grave this place only had one place where everyone could go to pay their respects look at the detail on that that's absolutely gorgeous amount of detail total respectful what's this Guys, have we found the 14th century cross base here? Because it looks like it could be. And it was said that this was also used for people that who repented their sins. They would like kneel down. So this could have been it. Yeah, because look, you definitely get your knee right into there. So they probably would have knelt down in that section there and um, you know repented their sins now that's totally out of the way of everything there's no other grave stones or anything in this area hang on there's another one over there very similar pattern to this one here there you go there's the other grave area i was just speaking about the other one i saw was just over there how cool is that which reminds me apparently there's supposed to be a tomb here of two sisters right and they defied the parliament act of you're supposed to be got buried in wool products right no they wanted to get buried in linen so it'd be great to see if i could find this tomb of theirs i believe i have found their tomb here we go Apparently, if this is the correct one, it should have some skull and crossbones on it. That to me looks like skull and crossbones there, guys. So I believe that this is the sister's tomb. Can I make anything out on this writing just here? Let's have a read. I can make some of the wording out, and I'm looking for Elizabeth and Emma. Uh, yep, there it is. This is it. Right, so these two sisters' names um, were Elizabeth Cutting, who died in 1695, and her sister Emma Hollyhurst, who died in 1696. And we got this one over here. Oh, we've got another one hidden. Wow. See what I mean by attention to detail? So we're making our way now towards the, the north side here. Just a bit of a better perspective. If you look now, you can see where I've got the two lines going. That would have been obviously the roof that you would have gone all the way across to over here if you look at this wall here you can see where it got broken down from that section there quite large memorial wow guys i have really enjoyed this adventure i've enjoyed seeing the old remains of the old chancel to also that tomb of the two sisters and i'm hoping i'm correct on that area where the 14th century cross could have been but for now guys I, this is where i'm gonna have to love and leave you so i want to say thank you guys for coming by and always try to do your best to stay positive and screw all of those negatives and i'll see you on the next one all right bye bye